feeling they're thinking plenty. Hey, um, you heard the rumours? What rumours? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, da, 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 da. What rumours? Okay, okay. About, um, <clears throat> the boss and uh, Vanessa. Oh, those rumours. No, I haven't heard a thing about those, but if I did, I'd keep quiet about them if I were you. Is this sunscreen lotion meant for me? Oh, no, Sophie brought it up for Woods. For Woods? On my locker. If you want to play silly buggers... I'm not! I saw you, Donna, at the bar last night, mouthing on about me. Come on, if you've got something to say, say it to my face. Is this spot taken? G'day, Alex. G'day. Long time no see. How are you, Harry? You said the Irish when they were looking at the alphabet. <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Oh, you are. <laughs> How's your gout? It oh, plays up a bit when I've been drinking. Sure. How's your love life? Oh, about on par with your gout. <laughs> that was funny. Is that funny? <laughs> oh, I've forgotten how nice this is, Harry. Thanks so much for calling me. Well, I thought you could do with a bit of airing. <laughs> Caught a couple of huge kingfish here last week. <laughs> you sound just like my dad used to. No, really. One of them put up a hell of a... You are so full of it, Harry. <laughs> oh, my bloody God. Is it? Look, can't you see it? No, can't I can't you see, see it. Get what away you... from me. What are you looking now? at? No, no. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Get away from me. You're a ghost. Harry, what is it? What the hell are you looking at? I'm just checking up on you, OK? I've got the mobile phone on if you need me. All right, all right. I love you. Bye. <laughs> You're going to put poor Eva in an early labour if you get her to run to the phone every five minutes, go. When the time arrives for you to be an expected dad, we'll see how cool you handle it. Uh, no, all right? No, no, no. Someone told me I was going to be a dad. I'll be way uncool. No surprises there. Have a look at this. I thought that wolf was condemned. Big AD Sydney Water, please. This is the police launch Nemesis. Go ahead, Nemesis. Yeah, we've got some kids playing on a wharf at Manly Cove. We're just going to check it out. Copy that, Nemesis. Clear. What are they up to? Hey, you lot, this is Sydney Water Police. You're trespassing. Would you like to make your way down to the boat, please? How'd you guys get in here? Should be at school. Huh? What have you got there? Bloody finger! Oh, wow, it's a finger. That's pretty bizarre, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God, a seven-finger climbs! That's so disgusting! Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Ah, the legendary finger. Yeah, the kids said their dog found it on a beach near a barge wrapped in alcohol. Oh, hmm. OK. Send it over to Chopper. Well, should we check up cops to see if someone's missing a finger or a hand or an arm or...? Body. Gavin, get crime scene over to where it was found in case the rest of the body was there. Gotcha. Here you go, Gavin. Up. Hello. How can I help you? I just wanted to speak to Detective Alex St. Clair. Donna. Alex, I've got another report of a stolen outboard. You need to get onto the dealers, all right, and check their books. Yeah. This is for you. What are they? Unsolved theft cases. Yes, Donna. Alex, there's a gentleman here who says he's a friend of yours. Harry Tully? Oh, Harry, yes, thanks, Donna. Can you send him up? Is that a new romance, Al? No, it's a friend. We fish together. You? Alex, I don't drink beer, Sinclair. Fish, like, with a, with a rod and a reel. That's right, a rod and a reel. Do you have a problem with that? I don't have a problem with that. Harry, I was worried about you this morning. You OK? 
Just thought I'd call around. <laughs> Said Jack the Ripper when he was looking up his relatives. Right. Not funny. Um, uh, Michael, this is Harry. Hey, hey, dear. So what's up? Thought I'd better explain. Oh, OK. Um, we'll go somewhere we can talk, huh? You've been drinking, Harry. Hey? My son-in-law has disappeared. Robbo. Disappeared when? Well, he's, he's been gone nearly three months now. Three months? God, so you, did you report it missing? Here, let's see. Yeah. The local cops think I'm a, I'm a troublesome old fool. Right. So, um, uh, what, what about your daughter? What's her name again? Um, Celeste. Celeste. But where does she think he's gone? All she got from Robbo was an email saying he'd run off with some backpacker, some foreign girl who did some work for him. I'm sorry, Harry. She tore the email up right in front of me. She said, I wash my hands of that bastard forever. She's a real mess, Alex. OK, listen, um, if he's taken off with his backpacker, why did you report him missing? He's my mate. We, we went fishing together. We went down the pub and watched the soccer. He would have called me. The, the police say he hasn't used his bank account and he hasn't left the country, as far as they can tell. OK, it doesn't sound good. If he was all right, he, he would have contacted me. He, he loves Celeste. He wouldn't do this to her. Anybody could have written that email, Alex. Okay. Robbo's dead. Is that what you saw this morning? Robbo's ghost? He was pointing down into the water. He, he was trying to tell me something. Colin, I want you to go over last year's budget figures with a summary of the year to date's over time. With a view to... Well, with a view to saving money. Look, I've got a lot on, Jeff. Sure, really. now, here's a list of reports that I'm going to need as well. Oh. Thanks, Helen. Yeah, it's keeping costs down. It seems to be a part of police business these days, doesn't it, Helen? I'm sure that you'll sort it out. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'll check with missing persons to see what they're up to with it, OK? That's all I'm asking, Alex. OK. You do believe me, don't you? Yeah. OK. Thank you. I do not know what to believe. Well, what did you say, biting today? Can you just pull your head in for yeah, one yeah, minute? Yeah, all right. What did missing person say? Well, there's, there's been no sign of Max Robinson, Aka mm. Robbo, OK? The local cops have spoken to he, his business partner and his wife, Celeste. Mm. I mean, everybody thinks he's run off with his backpacker, except Harry, because he's seen Robbo's ghost. So what was the ghost doing? Excuse me? You know, when, when Harry saw the ghost, what was, what was the ghost doing? Well, the uh, ghost was pointing down to the water. <laughs> I don't know, Michael. It's a ghost! <laughs> ghost? Mm -hmm. I, I know, but what do I do? Tell him to check his medication. No, Adam, this is a friend of mine. You can't turn every missing person into a murder investigation, right? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, ladies. Al, you have to hunt down yeah. these missing apples. Thank you. You do. Sorry. You haven't told me how you met Harry. Oh, we had a loose arrangement for a while. We went fishing every few months. Kind of dropped off in the last year or so. Well, how'd you meet him? I was going through a rough patch, and uh, Harry kind of just appeared out of nowhere. And I stuck his rod in my hand and said, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean it like that? Did you mean it like that? Left, left. Uh, no, are you sure? I thought the boat deal was straight ahead. No, we're going down to that beach, and I'm going to go and look for Harry's ghost. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. OK, fair enough. <laughs> so, uh, Harry and I are sitting about here, right? And all of a sudden he starts backing back, going, no, 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 no. Apparently the ghost is, like, uh, coming this way. Yeah. And he comes over to here and he's uh, pointing down into the water, according to Harry. So how come you saw him this morning? Oh, he gave me a call. Came down. Don't you think that's a bit of a coincidence, Alex? Hey, boys, come here. Oh, well, don't you say that I don't do anything for you, Alex. <laughs> They're doing plenty for me, Michael. <laughs> Gold? So if something pulls me under, you will tell my people, won't you? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yet. Okay. What you got? Hey, 
Hey, watch. Oh, man. Robbo, this one won't get away. Check that out. It's our ghost. Hi, Celeste Robinson. I'm Detective St. Clair. This is Detective Riley. Uh, is your father home? You're the woman who nearly ran over Dad once. Um, I, I was wondering, could we speak to your father? Yeah, all right. Thanks. That's his, isn't it, Celeste? That's Robbo's watch. I gave it to him a couple of Christmases ago. One he couldn't ruin. Where did you find it? It was down at our wharf, where you saw the ghost. Do you think he could have lost it there? He never took it off. I knew I'd seen him. I told you, Celeste. Listen, Harry, uh, we've been speaking to the local police. Good. Now we should get some serious investigation. They said that Robbo took his suitcases. He never took his car. The police know all this, Dad. I drive the car. It's a company car. She only lets you because she's got a guilty conscience. Who's got a guilty conscience, Harry? June Sutcliffe, Robbo's business partner. They've got a landscaping supply business up at Belrose. Slice with whiskey. I won't deny it. You're not supposed to be drinking, Dad. And you shouldn't be taking those bloody pills in the morning. Shut up! How can that be Robbo's watch? My bastard husband ran away with some girl and it broke Dad's heart. Now he's all head up and seeing things. These are beautiful. Did you paint them, Celeste? Bit of a hobby, is it? I'm a botanical illustrator. Don't. Just leave it. Such a pretty heart, eh? Your husband leaving. Those tablets, are they for depression? No. Well, yes. You believe in someone all those years, and then one day you realise it was all a lie. <laughs> I mean, this cost report's all well and good, but I mean, let's talk about the telephone bill. It's ridiculous. We're going to have to start cutting down on personal calls. Forensics. What's this? Five, four, six, eight. Over years, costing us a fortune. Down on last month. Oh, well, I think it's about time we had a good hard look at our people and figured out who isn't pulling their weight around here. Oh well, you know what they say: crackdowns lead to rebellion. Yeah, well, yes, that's right. You just do it, and you can start with laughing boy. Chief, oh, Helen, we found the ghost's watch. Can we get that off to forensics? Oh, right, you want me to send a ghost's watch off to forensics? I know, look, I just want to see how long it's been in the water. Okay. No problem. Now all we have to do is find the body. Well, if there is one. Well, it's possible. I mean, you know, Robbo walking out on a marriage is one thing, but a marriage and a business, that's, that's just... What do you think? Money's harder to give up than a wife. <laughs> No. no, no, what I'm saying is, you know, let's not jump to conclusions here. Let's talk to Robbo's business partner first before we go out searching for a body in the harbour. You know, if you ask Woodsy, she'd do it. <laughs> Woodsy wouldn't do anything for me at this point in time, believe mm. me. You flash that sexy smile of yours, Michael. It should be putty in your hands. Yeah, then all the windows will fall out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh -huh. just down there. Yeah. No, no, yeah, it's, it's yeah, right down that. there. Thank you, I can tell you already, Mick, if there were any human remains down there, the tide would have scattered them. Oh, come on, Em. We have to be sure. Please? Yeah, sure, Alex, for you. Hey, she's not a happy camper. I told you. Hey, listen, I got that watch off to forensics. Now, I'm just going to check out that uh, business partner, OK? You, you're going to be mm. safe here with the... Uh... Yeah, I'll be all right. Hey? Thanks, Emma. Yeah. You're staying? Yeah, I'm staying. <laughs> I wouldn't have my feet up on the desk if I was you. Talking to me, Constable? Hawker no. saw you. Him and Blakemore are looking for the non-performers around the station. Yes, and we all know who the pin-up boy of laid-back style is. Yeah, there's a phone over there. You can call someone who cares. Yes, <coughs> The dog swallowed the finger, then spat it out pretty quickly. He did, in the interim, manage to crunch through the bone fairly substantially, according to this. What, so there's no way of getting an ID? Yeah, they've got a print. OK, it belongs to Yo, he's a male. A couple of prize here, shoplifting, dope dealing, small-time stuff. Lives mm -hmm. in Manly, just off the course, huh? Whoa, 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 his name's Yo. Is that, uh, what is that, his first name or his last name, Yo? No, that's his only name. That's all we got. Yo. OK? And he hasn't reported a finger missing. But if he's alive, I'm sure he'll want to be reunited with it. Yep. He's very sentimental about mine. Well, why can't 
I come? It's a missing finger, so we could be walking into some gangland dispute here. Yeah, it could get nasty. Oh, are you serious? Mr. Yeo, it's the Sydney Water Police. Uh, it's just Joe, man. Where found your finger? Yeah, unfortunately, it's in a pretty poor condition. Well, that's not my finger, all right, so... Well, well, it's got your fingerprint on it. I can't have it. Mr. Yo, uh, see your hand, you're missing your finger. Now, we found it, do you want it back? All right, listen, it is not my finger, and it has got nothing to do with me, so I will be seeing you both. Right, well, if you decide you want your finger, you'll find it at the Sydney Water Police. OK, excellent, thank you. Probably be find it in the last property section, sir. Yeah, all righty. Where are you going? In the fridge. <laughs> hey, that's yeah. quick. Yeah, I get this, yeah. Soph. He denies it's his finger. <laughs> oh, oh, can you hang on? Oh, hang on, on hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, and remind me not to call my kid Yo. Yo, huh? all right. Guys, guys, come here. I've got Koi back. The cops are here. The cops are here, OK? Bye. <laughs> so we found the guy yet? What guy? The guy that held me up. Oh, um, we're actually the one. Um, what's that story again? Well, I told you. He came in, he held up a gun. Well, I thought it was a gun under his jumper. I panicked. I grabbed the sword, swung at the gun. Uh, you have a sword? Yeah, <laughs> you cops took it off me. Samurai sword, samurai swimsuits. The cutting edge in two pieces. So when can I get it back? Was this guy, uh, was he about was yay tall? He had brown curly hair? Yeah. yeah and, and you cut this fellow with your sword? Well, I think I got him on the gun hand. His gun hand. There was plenty of blood. I ran into that back room, I locked the door, and I called you guys. Uh, did Manly Police take a sample of this guy's blood? Why don't you know all this? We're actually the water police. I think you were dealing with the Manly Police. Oh, okay. Yeah, look, uh, we, we, we might have a lead on this guy. Uh, that's if you think you might have cut him? Frankly, I have no idea. I had my eyes shut. Don't you hate it when you can't see someone's eyes? You do iris analysis, you know. Iris analysis? What's that tell you? Everything. June Sutcliffe. Hi, I'm Detective St. Clair, Sydney Water Police. I was wondering if you could help me with the whereabouts of your business partner, Max Robinson. Huh. Has Robbo been up to more mischief? Uh, mischief? What's... Has he gotten tired of the last piece of trash he was chasing and she set the hounds on it? Uh, not exactly. Uh, have you been in contact with him? Not since he left rather suddenly a few months ago, leaving me no forwarding address. That seems unusual for a businessman. Yeah, well, it's a right pain in the proverbial, if you don't mind me saying so. My solicitor says the only way to free up his share of the business is to have him declared legally dead. Still, at least he got what he wanted. And what's that? A tall, beautiful black backpacker. <laughs> so, so uh, what happens to Max's share of the profits? There isn't much, but most of it gets ploughed back into the business. His split goes into his bank account. Right. So were you surprised when he ran off with, um... Lydia? Lydia. No, they were practically doing it in the flower beds. <laughs> One day I was here, and the next day he sends me an email saying goodbye. Yeah, well, there's your sunken treasure, Mick. That was a waste of bloody time, wasn't it? You don't me remember him. Yeah. Yeah, well, I suppose it's better than finding a dead body. Mick! What? Is it because of Alex? What is? That you and I aren't working. No. Because of me, OK, Em? Ah, uh, Donna. Look, um, I'm really sorry about blowing up at you the other day. It's just, I hate gossip. And there's nothing wrong with having friendship with a superior as long as that's all it is. Is it? Yes, but that's my point. It's none of your business. So let's just forget about it and get on with our jobs, OK? Sure, whatever you say. Problem? Uh, no. No, not yours. Oh. Oh. Well, at least we tried, right? Now I can tell Harry we look for Robber. Hey, hey, hey listen, is, is that true that, you know, Harry's daughter said that you nearly ran him over? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, that explains Jojo's sus behaviour. Sarge, Sarge, I'm thinking if we get this uh, finger DNA tested and we can match it with the blood swabs that we found at the crime scene, and that is the bikini shop, then haven't we got ourselves a link? Mm, OK. You'll have to ask Yo for his permission to get a DNA test. Well, he's denied it's his finger. Right. Well, when he denied it was his finger, you weren't investigating a crime. <laughs> Bloody hell. OK, and if you mention any of this, this DNA stuff to Jeff, he's going to chuck it to Manly Police straight away, I'm telling well, you. Well, it's our bloody finger. 
Well, no, no. It's Mr Yo's bloody finger, but it's Jeff's bloody budget. And DNA tests aren't cheap. Read Mr Yo is right. Then if he still denies it's his finger, then you got him. Now, guys, I've got an interesting detail on your ghost. Oh. His credit card says that he visited a motel near his work for 18 months. They ceased a month before he disappeared. That dirty boy. So that, that, that must have been where Robbo was taking that backpacker, you know, that beautiful looking backpacker for a quick backpack, eh? <laughs> You're not serious. My point. OK, backpackers, they get a year's visa max. This was 18 months, Mick. OK, so this Robbo's seeing someone else before the backpacker. That dirty dog. Is there something wrong with your hormones? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with me. You know, if Robbo and Celeste ever visited the Roving Clover Motel... Celeste didn't, no. I know what you're getting at. Sorry, Harry. Robbo was having an affair with June Sutcliffe. I caught him at it. Harry, you didn't tell me this. OK, you painted Robbo like Mr Bloody Perfect. Well, what was I supposed to do? You would have been like the other cops and written him off as a sleaze bag, but he wasn't like that. He promised me he'd ended it with June. And you believed him? Because there's one thing I do know. Robbo loved my daughter. He'd never leave her. OK, so where's Celeste? You can't tell her about the motel. Please, Alex. Where is she? She's up at the landscapers. I hope there's nothing else you're not telling me. Hello, my name is Joe. Come into my place. I'm not very respectful because I'm wearing my boxes. Would you prefer it if I wore pants? Dragon? Uh, you <laughs> might just have a little seat here. Lovely. Okay. Uh, Mr. Yard, about the finger that you deny is yours. It is not my finger. Right, well, it's been linked to a recent robbery. Now, we intend to perform DNA tests on it to ascertain whether it matches those of the bloodstains found at the robbery. However, before we do a DNA test, we need the owner's permission. All right. What if it was my finger? Well, then we would need your permission to do the test, sir. All right, it has to be my finger because it has my fingerprint on it. Well, <laughs> you denied it was your finger. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. OK, Mr Yo, will you allow us to do a DNA test on your finger? No, because that would be an invasion of privacy. Thank you very much. Get out. Let's go. Let's go, Sophie. No, oh, it's going to be a boy. What? Mm. Do you know what it's going to be already? Yeah, yeah look, cool, huh? us sykes men, oh. we have boys. It's something to do with this no, white chromosome oh. dominant gene thing. <clears throat> All right, well, just in case your sperm lets down the family lineage. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely, no. Hey, anyway, look, um, no, this guy's no. voice, was it deep? I don't know. He put on this funny voice. He did seem confused. Look, here's my card. Just give me a call. For what? In, in case we don't find him? Whatever, you know. OK, look, look I'm going to apply for a warrant. I think we've got enough. Mm -hmm. What are you doing tonight? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so you've put in a security alarm? Yeah, it cost me an arm and a leg, huh? <laughs> yeah, you could have saved a finger if you put it in earlier. You know, you should get a bit more roughage into your diet. So you work here? I always have. Part-time anyway. Right. Um, Mrs Robinson, do you know anything about your husband using a motel weekly in the year and a half up until he disappeared? Do you know who he was seeing? I I had no idea my husband was seeing anyone until he ran off. Right, well, your father, he seems Detective to be... Sinclair? Yes. Here again. Yes, listen, can I have a word? Yeah. We have reason to believe that Robbo was having an affair for the last 18 months. Do you have any idea who with? If you ask old Harry, he'll say me. And you say? Not me. Anyone and everyone else. Robbo liked to hire young, pretty helpers. Most of them were useless. Though Lydia was quite good. Oh, we haven't managed to track her down yet. Oh, she's probably in hiding with Robbo. Most backpackers overstay their visas. Harry knew that Robbo was having an affair. And he knew that he was having it with June Sutcliffe, but she, she denies it. Well, it took his bloody time to tell you, Alex. I hope there's nothing else Harry forgot to mention. OK, tomorrow morning we should get on to immigration, see if they've tracked down that bloody backpacker, Lydia. No, 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 I've, uh, I've got to call immigration. I can do that for oh, you. thank you. Listen, a report came back about the watch. Mm. It had been in the water about three days. 
Also, oh the engraving had been put on about three, four weeks ago, they reckon. I don't. Your mate Harry planted that watch. Yeah, all right, right oh. I'll go and do that thing. <sighs> How many more bloody lies are you going to tell me, Harry? You remember when we met? Oh, don't pull that on me. It's you nearly ran me down. Yeah, yeah. You, I nearly decked you. You got out of your car crying and in no fit state to drive. You just broken up with some yeah, fellow. Okay, Harry, what is your point? My point is you owe it to me to hear my story. What is that? I've watched her fall apart, Alex. She thinks Robbo didn't love her, that he, that he betrayed her and ran off, but I know he didn't. He lied to me, Harry. It's no ghost, you set the whole thing up. I'm a father, Alex. I had to do something. She, she's absolutely falling apart. I don't want to walk in here and find her hanging from a rope. Yeah, sure. Yep. Too easy. I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. OK, bye. So what is it? Uh, is it your shout, mate? Are we celebrating? What? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've got a date with Penny. Penny? Yeah, yeah. The shop owner. The urologist. Oh, the loop. Well, hang on. Now you're sounding a little jealous when you say this. Please. Come on. Boy. There we go. Hey. Lucky shirt, mate. Lucky shirt. So, um, I've been drinking. Well, actually, that's uh, putting up my... I've been drinking a lot because I've just broken up with Matthew Grierson, right? Anyway, I'm driving like, like a mad woman. And you know, I was stupid. I was completely crazy. And the next thing I know, this man, he steps out of the darkness and I, I, I nearly run over the bludger. Was that Harry? This is Harry. This is how I meet Harry, right? Anyway, I get out of the car. I'm carrying on like an absolute... I'm a mess, right? The next thing I know, I am down the end of this wharf and I am fishing, okay? <laughs> fishing. I go back there the next week and he has a rod for me and, um, you know, we're talking. We, you know, we don't talk, there's no pressure. And uh, Harry says I owe him one. And I think I do too. Alex! Yeah, Donna! Sergeant Blakemore wanted me to tell you that they found a girl, some backpacker. Lydia, did you ever work for a landscaping supplies company about six months ago? Yes, I did. Right, and when you left there you... We went to Queensland. Right, well, the immigration uh, department says that you've just come back from New Zealand. Yeah, we had to renew our visas. Our visas? Of course, my husband, Jan. All right. When was the last time you saw Max Robinson, Robbo? When I resigned a couple of months ago. Lydia, were you ever involved in a sexual relationship with Robbo? <laughs> no, of course not. Anyway, he was already pretty busy. With whom? Well, there was his wife and, and the other boss, June. I saw them kiss and that kind of thing. And always they were arguing, sometimes violent. What sort of violence? Throwing things. It was a terrible atmosphere there. Yeah, Mick, I've got the warrant. I'm on my way there to pick it up now. Do you want to meet me at the landscapers in 40 minutes? Cheers. <sighs> Time to show yourself for real, Robbo. Thank God you're here. Security rank to say the alarm has been tripped. Did you call the local police? Yeah. Okay, you stay here. Frightened hell out of me. What are you doing, Harry? You couldn't find him, so I'll find him. He's here, you know, he's here, buried in a garden bed with all the blood and bone. I'll find him. Don't you worry about it. Where are you, Robbo? This is breaking an entry. We have a warrant here to search your premises. Crime scene are on their way. You can't just barge in here. Oh, we spoke to the backpacker that you put us on to. She said you were having the affair with Robbo, not her. This is it, June. Judgment day. Watch out. Watch out. There we go. You really think something's in there? We'll see what we dig up, eh, June?
You see that? What? Look. Get Celeste. How'd he die? Uh, uh, we think it was a blow to the head, but we'll know for sure after the autopsy. What about June? Dad said you found him under some wood chips at the landscaping supplies. Wait! Celeste, Celeste. <laughs> I told you he wouldn't believe you. Found a body. Yep, the suspect's waiting on her lawyer now. The evidence is strong, but the circumstantial so far. And in some respects, it's misleading. Well, anything to do with a ghost is misleading. Okay. Boys. What ghost? Yeah. Okay, the magistrate allowed that DNA test on the finger, and it's a match. Oh. So, do you want me to call Manly Police? Oh, no, 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 no. He's mine. Is he indeed? Well, okay. you can have him. Finger? What finger? Morning, yo. Hey! Hey, did you bring my finger with you? Actually, yo, we've come to arrest you. Ah, uh, yeah, yo, you're not obliged to say or do anything unless you wish to do so. Anything you say or do will be used in evidence. Do you understand that, yo? Yes. All right, let's get you to the hospital and we'll check out that hand, huh? Yeah, well, I was gonna get a sight back on again, but my mate took it. Right. So, uh, how did someone steal your finger, yo? Well, I put it in the freezer and wrapped it into some foil. And what? He must have taken it by mistake. Oh, of right, he probably thought it was drugs, eh, yo? What would he be wanting to do with a finger? Yeah, and watch that bin there, mate. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> so how did your business partner get in that bin? I don't know. I honestly don't know. What happened the last time you saw Max Robinson? We had a huge fight. What was the fight about? The usual. Us. Him and me. Him leaving his wife and him not wanting to leave her. Did this fight ever get violent? I threw things at him sometimes, but not that night. OK, go on. Robert broke up with me a few weeks before, but I had to keep seeing the bastard every day and kept flirting with me. He couldn't help himself. That night, we started kissing and the both of us, we started getting excited and then he just pulls back and says, stop. And that's when we had the fight. Because you wanted to have sex? Him. I wanted him. I loved him. Miss Sutcliffe, Max Robinson sustained a blow to the head. Do you have any idea how that might have happened? <sighs> I don't know. I yelled at him. I called him names, but I didn't hit him. I, I, didn't... I think you hit him. I don't care what you think. For the past six months, I've thought that the man I loved had run off with some airhead and he was dead the whole time. So what, what are the rules here? What am I supposed to feel? When he sent me that email... Which you could I... have sent. <gasps> Not from his home computer. Miss something, have we? No, OK, the email was erased. Can we uh, resurrect that from the hard drive? Yeah, I can check that out. If it can be done at all, it'll take time. That's all OK. Right? Thanks, Helen. Listen, Alex, there's got to be somebody who has access to the landscaping business, OK? Now, listen, I know he's your mate. No, I don't. I just can't believe that. Alex, they say the guilty see ghosts. All right, look, just let me do no, it. No, I have to do it. It has to be me. Read this. It's the initial autopsy report on Robbo. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, man. You're joking. Uh, listen, Harry, we're going to have to take you in for questioning. Alex, I can't believe you're saying this to me. Harry, you've been stuffing us around since the beginning. You know, you planted evidence, you've been withholding information. You knew where that body was hidden all along, didn't you? You're going somewhere, Celeste? They're robbers. Where did these come from, love? Whenever I'd accuse him, he'd say, 
You're imagining things, Celeste. Why don't you trust me? He told me it was all over. He lied, Dad. He treated you like a fool. I saw them together. And when June left, I confronted him. He was so brazen. Darling, you're imagining things. I'd seen them together. Celeste, did you hit your husband? I belted his brains out. You what? I got a marble vase and I hit him. More than once, I think. And then I got a piece of plastic to put him on. I dragged him to the wood chip bin and I buried him. Then I came home and I packed Robbo's things in the suitcases and I put them in the roof. So did you send the emails, did you, Celeste? Well, Lydia just left, so I decided to blame her for Robbo's disappearance. So you hit him in anger, then you buried him because, because you panicked. That's not murder, you see? You know, the autopsy shows that Robbo died of suffocation. He was still alive when you buried him. I rolled him into the, into the wood chip bin and I started shoveling wood chips on and his eyes opened. They just stared straight at me. And I'm sorry, Dad. I just, I was so damn angry. I just, I just kept shoveling. Now you talk about seeing ghosts, Dad. I've seen the real thing. What is this? Some kind of a joke? What? Oh, well, we're supposed to be saving money. Huh? Over time for divers called out to investigate a ghost. That case has been in the hands of missing persons for months. A DNA test on a finger paid by us rather than Manly. We have just solved a murder and a robbery. Let's not forget that. Well, this cost I can't. I thought we'd come up trumps on this one, Jeff. Jeff. Ah, oh, Sergeant Simmons. Do you have a minute? Of course, come in. Sit down. I need a second opinion. Of course you do. Yeah. <sighs> Poor Harry. He came to me for help, and look, look what I've done to him. Just wanted to find Robbo, see if we could help his daughter. Better watch what you wish for, eh? Everyone would be better off if someone had just told the truth. You're joking. No, it's true. Little whispers, little touches. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. I haven't noticed. She was sitting in the cutter bar last night, looking all sad. I reckon he stood her up. <laughs> Hawker, he's got to have marbles in his head. Oh, I'm doing it with a colleague. No, for standing her up. Oh, see, you're a married man. Right, so now I just look. No, I reckon good on him. Oh, come on, if it's discreet, what's the problem? Well, it isn't. I noticed, didn't I? Yeah, but Donna, you notice everything. I mean, you notice things even before they happen. <laughs> annoying habit, gossip. It's more than annoying. It's destructive. Especially if you're a woman. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it doesn't matter how much they try and change it, it's still a boys' club, Vanessa. You ignore that, you ignore it at your own peril. Say if you were having a relationship with Jeff Hawker and he put you up for a promotion, the word would be that you got it on your back. So that's the word? Gossip. Truth's irrelevant at this stage. You've got some decisions to make. Is it on again? No, we're just going to have a talk. <laughs> Alex? Yeah? That old guy, Harry? He wanted me to give you these. He said he didn't need them anymore. Oh, right, um, thanks, Donna. Thanks. Play with there, huh? Oh, this is great. 